Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 12 at chapter 7. This chapter is about work and energy. In this one, the model is very simple. We can see we have an object and the total mass is given. And also it moves up, right, from the base of the mountain to the top of the mountain. And in this way, you can find its displacement. The next one asks you how much work does a model do in moving this object up. So in this one we can say we consider this object the force act on it first one gravity and also the tension, right? This tension comes from the model. Now can we find this tension? Sure, because they tell us that it moves at a constant speed. What does that mean? It means acceleration is zero. So we apply Newton's second law. This Ft minus gravity equals zero. Mass times acceleration, acceleration becomes zero. So the force by the motor just equal to gravity, mg. The next one, we can get the work done by the motor. So it is a force d cosine theta. So we look at there. The, the angle between the force and the d is zero. Both of them up. So cosine zero degree is just a one. Right? So we get the Ft is just mg, so mgd. The next one asks you the work done by the gravity. So work done by gravity is mg times d, and the angle between them 180 degree. Do you agree? Because they are at opposite direction, 180 degree. So cosine 180 degree, negative 1. The next one is a little bit difficult. It tells you if if this model do more work, how much? How much 10% more work. So what's the acceleration? In this one, we find we need a bridge between them. So we can say normally when we want to find acceleration, the first then we need to find the force before at the first step, right? So we can see it looks like we have no work and we need to find acceleration. It looks like we need the force as a bridge to connect the work and its acceleration. Do you agree? Yes. So this is our plan. So you can see at the beginning, the oh, at the origin, the work done by the motor is, we, we talk about is FD times T, right? Now the, we do 10% more work. So the force becomes the FT1 D. Do you agree? Because the displacement is them. And how much uh, we do? 10%, so the new work is 1.1 times the previous work. In this one, we can find the new force. So it is Ft. This new force is just 1.1 mg. Do you agree? Now in this case, this uh, tension becomes 1.1 mg. It will not keep balanced because the gra gravity is still mg. So we apply Newton's second law. This uh, tension minus the gravity equals mass times acceleration. So this Ft1 becomes 1.1 mg. So in this way, we can get the acceleration 0.1 g. Uh, then you can up, uh, input the numbers inside and you get the final answer. Thank you.